this brings us to the end of our this segment on price determination in market and the effect of changes of demand and supply on equilibrium price i hope you've understood all this very well and to gauge that let's take a short quiz the first question equilibrium price may be determined through a only demand b only supply c both demand and supply d none yes the answer is both demand and supply for determining equilibrium price it is important that both demand and supply are equal at that point the demand curve and the supply curve intersect each other only one element cannot determine price price is determined when both the elements intersect each other when both the elements are equal to each other so price is determined by both demand and supply and the equilibrium price is where both the demand and the supply meet next if price is forced to stay below equilibrium price what will happen a excess supply exists b excess demand exists c it may be either of them d it's neither of them so what will happen if the price is kept below the equilibrium price that is let's say people purchase your product when it is priced at rupees 10 they purchase 100 units now if you reduce the price you make the price rupees 8 what do you think will be its effect will the demand increase or will the supply increase yes the demand will increase now because the price has gone down so the demand will shoot let's check the answer that's the answer excess demand will exist if the price is kept below the equilibrium price an increase in supply with unchanged demand leads to a rise in price and fall in quantity b fall in both price and quantity c rise in both price and quantity d fall in price and rise in quantity what will be the answer i'll just draw and show this is my original demand curve and this is my original supply curve now what is happening the supply is increasing this is the equilibrium this is my quantity this is my equilibrium price the supply has increased now this is the new supply curve whereas demand has remained the same it has not changed so what will happen i'll get a new equilibrium point now e1 and q1 will be the new equilibrium quantity p1 will be the new equilibrium price so what has happened quantity has increased from q to q1 price 
has fallen from P2 to P1. So we can say that the price falls and the quantity increases. The answer would be D. Let's check. That's the answer. In the long run, A only demand can change, B only supply can change, C both demand and supply can change, D none of these. Yes, both demand and supply can change. That's the answer. Next, an increase in supply with demand remaining the same brings about a an increase in equilibrium quantity and decrease in equilibrium price. An increase in equilibrium price and decrease in equilibrium quantity. C. Decrease in both equilibrium price and quantity. D. None of these. You'll get 10 more seconds to solve this. Yes, time up. Now let's try to solve this. We'll again take an original demand curve and an original supply curve. So they meet at point E where Q is the equilibrium quantity and P is the equilibrium price. Now what is happening? Supply is increasing, demand remaining the same. We yeah, actually same question. Thoda words. So what is happening? Supply is increasing. So we will get a new supply curve S1. Now what is happening? We are getting a new equilibrium point E1 wherein Q1 is the new equilibrium quantity and P1 is the new equilibrium price. So what has happened? The quantity has increased, but the price has fallen. So we can say that an increase in equilibrium quantity and decrease in equilibrium price. A should be the answer. Let's check. That's the answer.